Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Billionaire Trump fan is sick of the charade, drops millions to finally shut it all down. A huge Trump supporter recently decided that he is tired of what he's seeing happen in the country all because of one massive industry who has abused their power. Now, he's just made a major move to decimate it. Peter Thiel, who is the founder of PayPal, and an openly gay Trump supporter understands how to make money and is everything liberals hate considering he supports our president despite his lifestyle. He's in the perfect position to make the move he just did, considering that Forbes recently reported that his net worth is around $2.5 billion and is the owner and developer of seven large companies. He's using his wealth where it's definitely needed, just like his good friend Donald Trump has. It's not about creating divisiveness in the country, like what rich liberals tend to do, it's about preventing it, which starts with putting one huge group that promoted hate in this country out of business and it's about time. Teal recently teamed up with Charlie Ebersol, the son of longtime NBC sports executive Dick Ebersol and director of the 30 for 30 documentaries to form a new league. According to Patriot Journal, it's safe to say the NFL has had a rough couple of years. The once beloved league has faced tremendous backlash. All because its players have disrespected the flag. Worse still, the league's owners have refused to demand players stand for the anthem. They've even given millions to the players' union, who will spend the cash on social justice programs. Pathetic. Keep in mind that was your money, if you support the NFL. Now the NFL has another problem, competition. A major Trump supporter is throwing millions into a new league. One that will surely give the NFL a run for its money. It's also of note that Thiel is a Facebook stockholder, one of the originals to buy in, and is on Facebook's board of directors. The differences personal and political differences he is with Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg are apparent. Given the recent politically based moves Thiel has made and the personal data controversy Facebook is embroiled in having made this private information available to different groups, including Barack Obama's 2012 campaign, things could get pretty interesting between these two billionaires. Sports Illustrated has more on why Thiel is making this multi-million dollar move. Charlie Ebersol, the son of longtime NBC sports executive Dick Ebersol and director of the 30 for 30 documentary about the original XFL his father created with WWE's Vince McMahon, announced Tuesday that he plans to launch a football league next February. The league is called the Alliance of American Football and will feature eight 50-man teams playing a 10-game schedule that begins on February 9, the Saturday after next year's Super Bowl. Funding for the league comes from the Peter Thiel-led Founders Fund, Barstool Sports Investors The Chernin Group, former Vikings pass rusher Jared Allen and others. The league is hoping to draw talent from the wealth of high-level college players who don't make the NFL. Teams will have the right to draft players who played college football in their local market, similar to the territorial pick system that existed in the early days of the NBA. You read that right. The billionaire PayPal co-creator and outspokenly gay Trump supporter is bankrolling an NFL alternative. Will wonders never cease? The new league has already landed a broadcasting deal with CBS, which is well known for its sports coverage. It looks like the off is already moving full steam ahead. You better believe there will be plenty of college football players eager to prove themselves in this new league. Players that were rejected by the NFL, because of severe lack of spots, will get a second chance. Considering the league's name, Alliance of American Football, there is a good chance patriotism will be a focus. I'm going to guess standing for the anthem will be in the rule book. This new league will be able to challenge the NFL, doing all the things the bigger league refuses to do. But will it be enough to knock the NFL from the throne? Maybe in time. The NFL has suffered and dropped viewers since the anthem fiasco. Plus, the XFL is already scheduled to return. All this new competition will put a serious strain on the NFL. Hmm, maybe Commissioner Goodell should have dealt with the kneelers when he had a chance. While it's hard to believe that a new league would thrive, it might give way to pressuring the NFL to change some of its rules about kneeling for the national anthem. Thiel is a guy that understands business and organizations. With this team of people, they just might have a chance at dethroning the NFL. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.